Iran prepares to launch at least two satellites into space by late March, telecommunications minister Issa Zarabur said Sunday, just over a month after successfully testing a launcher. The United States has repeatedly voiced concern that such launches could boost Iran's ballistic missile technology, extending to the potential delivery of nuclear warheads. But Iran insists it is not seeking nuclear weapons, and that its satellite and rocket launches are for civil or defense purposes only. NATAD-1 and NATAD-2 satellites are being prepared Zarapur was quoted as saying by official news agency Erna. NATAD is the name given to a series of telecommunication satellites developed by the Iranian Space Research Center. According to Zarapur, we will have launches by year's end March 20 in the Persian calendar. In early November, Iranian state television announced the successful suborbital launch of the satellite launcher named Gim-100. The Gim-100 rocket was manufactured by the Aerospace Organization of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, and it is the country's first three-stage solid-fuel satellite launcher, the channel added. Iran successfully put its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, drawing a sharp rebuke from Washington. In August this year, another Iranian satellite, named Qayyum, was launched by Russia on a Soyuz 2.1B rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Iran's space agency said the device was constructed by Russia under Iran's supervision. The U.S. alleged at the time that the KM would enable significant spying capabilities, and that a deepening Russia-Iran alliance amounted to a profound threat to the world. Iran's space agency rejected those allegations, countering that the purpose of KM was to monitor the country's borders and help with the management of natural resources and agriculture. In August, Russian state media provider TASS confirmed, opens a new tab, the satellite is sending telemetry successfully. According to Russian language translation provided by Google.Kayim, which is named after the famed Persian poet and mathematician Omar Kayim, is a Russian-built Canopus V Earth observation satellite that can resolve features as small as 3.9 feet, 1.2 meters, on Earth's surface, the Washington Post reported, opens a new tab, last week. That's far short of the quality achieved by U.S. spy satellites or high-end commercial satellite imagery providers, but a substantial improvement over Iran's current capabilities, The Washington Post wrote. Potentially the most significant benefit, the newspaper added, citing unnamed Western security officials, will be Iran's ability to task the new satellite to conduct continuous surveillance on locations of its choosing, including military facilities in Israel, oil refineries and other vital infrastructure in neighboring Gulf states. Before Qayyum's launch, Iran had just two operational satellites in space, according to the United States Institute of Peace. Sina-1, which launched on an apparent imaging and communications mission in 2005, and Newer-2, an imaging satellite that lifted off this past March. Russia negotiated the Qayyum satellite deal in secret with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, over the course of multiple years, the Washington Post reported in June of last year. In that story, the Post noted that Russian experts have already traveled to Iran to train ground crews in the satellite's operation.
but Iran apparently won't get access to its fancy new space hardware right away. Russia intends to use KM for several months, or longer, to enhance its surveillance of military targets, for its ongoing invasion of Ukraine, the Washington Post reported in last week's story, citing the Western security officials, who wish to remain anonymous. Iranian officials, however, are denying the claims that they won't have access to the hardware right away. Tehran has rejected claims the satellite could be used by Moscow to boost its intelligence capabilities in Ukraine, saying Iran will have full control and operation over it from day one, a Reuters report stated, opens a new tab, quoting the Iranian state-run official Erna News Agency. Kim didn't launch alone on Tuesday morning. Also riding the Soyuz off Earth were 16 smaller satellites, which were built by a variety of Russian universities, companies and non-profit organizations, according to the state-run Russian news agency TASS, opens a new tab, which cited an August 3 press conference briefing by Roscosmos, Russia's federal space agency.